Sections uh, definitely uh, um, allows us to connect the spaces we are creating with the territory or the topography or the context no? or, the, or the climate. It establishes the relation in between spaces, but also between spaces and its context. No? So it's a way for us, it's very important. It's a way to also to think about the permeability of boundaries, no? Like, uh, I think connection, the word connection is really related with our work, no? We, 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 we're meant to connect people, connect spaces, connect context with, uh, uh, the, the spaces, connect community with the building or with, uh, activities. So the section allows you to, to do that, to visualize or envision these connections and this relationship, no? With the, also with the sky, with the light. Mm -hmm. With the void, with the, uh, so many natural things that you can integrate in a section. And it's very difficult to visualize them in a plan because a plan, the plan is talking more about organization, functional, uh, uh, fluxus, like very, very, very different. Those are very different <laughs> tools. Your plan also uh, expresses. Uh, the thermal structure of the space, mm -hmm. you know, where the air conditioning goes, where the natural ventilation is, mm -hmm. where the flows of not just people, but of air and light mm -hmm. uh, potentially can happen. I, I, I think this idea of the plan as a way of visualizing programmatic divisions is one thing, mm -hmm. but then to then attach yeah. to that yeah. a kind of a thermal condition yeah. Uh, yeah. to say that this these are the boundaries between these different conditions yeah. uh, becomes a very important way of of conserving energy right yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. it's it's it, it, the plan is as important as the as the section but we started by the section okay mm -hmm. because there there are some um uh, precise things we were looking for for instance mm -hmm. we were in the middle of a carob tree forest is a tropical dry forest of, of the north of Peru, where these trees in some places where there's a little bit more water, it provides shade to people. Okay, people live under the trees and they walk chase, chasing shades, no? Sh chasing shadows, no? Mm -hmm. And, and um, so we wanted to do the same with the building. So create shade, in order to, to create a, a living space. Mm -hmm. But then, how do you create shade with a, with, a, with a roof, okay? But at what height do you put the roof in order to integrate the building with the, this forest? And the height was the height of the trees. So right. we started by drawing an horizontal line, no? And then mm -hmm. from that horizontal line, if we, we want to create spaces, intermediate spaces for people, the program should go from this line downwards and put in more program in the second floor and less program in the first floor in order to have more free space uh, at the ground level. No? But we mm -hmm. started by the section. Mm -hmm. no? The section yeah. was yeah. was driven or driving the the, the project uh, and then the section should be as intelligent as the as the as the, as the plan the, yeah. the plan yeah. should be as intelligent as the section mm -hmm.